It's a pleasure to see you. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake, coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Um, I don't care. It's come to my attention that the post did exist, and it happens to be the last reported location of the Draconian Madstone. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter, cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. May the path ahead be free of danger. Good to see you. What? Old Bainlin is dead. I hear it was a horrible accident. He was resting in his chair, and boom! A stuffed head fell on him. Goodbye.
and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Agavir? Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Agavir. Ironic.
I hope you bring good news. Have you recovered the madstone? I never thought it possible. I mean, I had hoped. But to actually hold it in my hands. Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. May luck be always on your side. How goes it? What is it, Associate? Strasser of the Mages Guild, evoker and alchemist, and also, in his scant free time, a trainer in alchemy. But perhaps you are an adventurer? Could you assist me in acquiring something for my crystal collection? Straight to the point, eh? Good, I like that. I'm searching for some specific crystals known as Garadan's Tears. If you can locate these objects for me, I'd pay handsomely for each one. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment that I saw you. I want you to bring me as many of Garadan's Tears as you can find. If you do, I will pay you a fair bounty in gold for each one. I confess, I have a weakness for crystals of a magical nature, and I must add these to my collection. This is a personal errand, you must understand, just between you and I. The Mage's Guild has nothing to do with it. The tears are not just a namesake. They're literally the frozen tears of a knight named Garadan Staurus who lived many years ago. I'm not certain what happened to the night, or why the tears were frozen, but I do know someone you could ask. Seek out Juliana Fanis at the Arcane University in the Imperial City. She oversees the Alchemy Headquarters there. If anyone can help you get more information about these crystals, she can. Bring my salutations to Giuliani. Safe journey to you. Hello, Associate. What can I help you with? You aren't the first person to go looking for those. Quite a remarkable story, really. I know a bit about it. Certainly. Garretton was a knight who lorded over a small village of peaceful farmers. One harvest summer, there was a horrible drought. The farmers appealed to Garadan to discover a solution. He spent a week consulting with sages, until one of them mentioned a possibility. The sage told him of an artifact called the Everflow Ewer. The vessel, which looked like a silver pitcher, was said to supply endless water. Yes, indeed. Legend has it that Garadan found the Ewer, and that it was guarded by a fearsome creature. It is also said that the creature froze him. When Garadan realized his quest was a failure and he wouldn't be able to return and save the farmers, he began to shed some tears. As the ice enveloped him, some of his tears were frozen as well. Some even say that the divine Mara took pity on the poor knight. To commemorate his kind heart, she imbued the tears with some sort of magical power. That's only rumor though. You know, if you're really interested in more, there's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadan. I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. Good day. Hello, Associate. Anything else I can help with? Yes, I have them for sale. If you'd like to buy some, feel free. 
They're top quality. I refined them myself. You look like you've seen some travel. You found five of the tears? Fantastic. This turned out better than I expected. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. This is a journey into money. Tears look beautiful in my collection. A thousand thanks once again. Safe journey to you. Take care.